Hey, oh, bronze leaders, and welcome back to Sonic Head is garbage at Heat Signature. Uh, so this is actually the second Let's Play that I'm going to be doing. Uh, we just finished with Valley, which was great. There's actually a best of in a link probably on the side if you want to check for that. Uh, this game is Heat Signature. It just came out recently on Steam. It looks very interesting. It's very simple. Uh, the graphics are very simple. And it looked interesting because of the different sort of subterfuge things that you can do. There's a lot of different ways to beat it. I really don't know much about it besides what I saw on Steam's page. Picked it up. So we're just going to hop right in. Uh, basically, I've been spending 23 minutes trying to set up my audio because the game's a little weird. But uh, all that's happened right now is I'm going to hit restart tutorial and the game is going to start and we're in it. So welcome to episode one. This is not how I pictured my retirement. Seder fiasco. Getting shot over a nebula of battery acid in the ass end of nowhere. But I'm invested now. That's actually something I say all the time. And there's one last thing I want to do before I quit. What is it? Spaceship. Hold for thrust. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Gonna dock. Whoops. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay, yep. This apparently requires... More finesse. Oh. Oh, okay. Ha! Huh, I did it! I was trying to... Got it! Nailed it first try. Uh, WASD is moving. E is re... Okay. Okay, yeah. I'm in it. There's like this thing. You need this key card. I can pause. Uh, you can click items in this list to teleport them to you. Uh, Fiasco's Face Breaker, a freakishly fast, light, quiet, and powerful non-lethal melee weapon. Um, it looks like it has the qualities concussive, ignores armor, long dash range, a uh, quick recovery, and quiet strike. And then there's level one key card. Okay, I got the level one key card, I guess. Pause now. Teleport your Face Breaker to you. Uh, left click the Face Breaker to make it your main attack. Got it. Stand about here. Hold to aim. Hit this guy. Okay. Take his gun. F. Pause now. Okay. Right click the gun to make it your right click. Okay, so you click on your items for what you want to assign. Yep. I'm in it. Stand about here. Hold and aim shot anywhere. Oh, pause when he reaches you. Uh, pause a lot! You have as long as you like to zoom. Okay, yep. Um, hold shift. Okay, to move around the camera. And aim attacks. Oh, I just murdered that guy. Uh, okay, so I clearly have an alarm and there's bad things happening. So I got a guard gardener? Uh, let's see, standard gun. Wait, I got a, something called a guard gardener. Or maybe just said gun and I'm actually awful at reading. Uh, hold the little button to aim your shot release to fire causes people to die usually forever. Sweet. Wait, why am I picking up? Okay, I seem to have a guard like that I'm carrying. Uh, alarms. Guards sound the alarm. If they hear a shot, find a body, or see you. If the countdown hits there, you'll be captured. Taking out the captain cancels the... Oh, okay. Guard? Gardener. I wasn't crazy. F. Take gun. So I picked up another gun. They... That says used too, but it doesn't look like there's any difference, I guess? Hit the captain. Oh, he got knocked out the airlock. Wait, can I take that wrench, though? Fly the ship. Set the course for Cold Rock Haven. Okay, yeah, we we did it. Easy, not even a problem. Seder Fiasco. Breaker, I've got the seed ship. I've laid a course for Cold Rock Haven. This ship can crash the defenses, but you got to reprogram from the inside while they're down. I'm going to throw myself into space now. Meet you in the bar if I don't die? I mean, that seems... I guess I'll just... Okay. Yeah, we're in space, I guess. 
That seems really not healthy. Design code and words by Tom Francis. Okay. Art by John Roberts. Um, so... Okay, so what I do know about this game, basically, is that you have a lot of different ways to do pretty much whatever uh, you want. Like, there's going to be an objective. Like, for instance, we had to kill that guy. And you're going to have, you know, maybe 10 or 12 or 15 different ways that you can do it. You can, like, murder him with a gun or a bat. Um, I think, like, what we did, we pushed him out the airlock. Uh, and so we're just going to have to see where this goes because, again, I don't know much about it beyond that. Seder Fiasco. Cold Rock Haven has been captured and recaptured four times this year. First three times, no one who lived there could fight it. This one, this time one of them can. This time one of them has a 40-year career in espionage, a breacher stealth pod, and a kinetic facebreaker. So it's gonna change hands one last time. One last time. Sounds like a movie, like a summer blockbuster. This time he's taking it. Tune in this summer. Oh, it looks like it just exploded though. So am I just floating in space? Like that doesn't. Pause. Remote control your pod. Catch yourself. Got it. Nailed it. First try. I wasn't even worried. Uh, okay. So you can... Um, I do remember seeing... This is actually, I'm going to be honest, really difficult. It doesn't really control nicely, um, and the pro the problem is that you're going really, really fast, and suddenly it zooms in and it actually makes you move faster. Browse explosives shop. A uh, grenade launcher. Grenade will come to rest at the cursor. It requires three of those things. And I don't think I have any job listings. Okay, let's just go talk to Breaker. Breaker Gemini. Holy shit, you're alive! Uh, I get that a lot more than you think, yeah. Hey, we have a station! We have a station. This is gonna be start something, you know. Other stations are gonna wanna throw off the shackles like this. Okay. Four factions fighting over this cloud. If we ever get their strongholds, this war just ends. Uh, that's an interesting idea. Interesting, because I have no idea what he's talking about. So I literally mean that's interesting. Maybe actually seriously tell me more. Sure you don't want to postpone your retirement and help out? You could tear through these amateurs. I've been shot ten times. I'll be lucky if I make it to the couch. I'm really goddamn tired. Fair enough, so that's it. Uh, I have, I mean, I'm going to sit in that booth watching you guys do all the hard... No, I have connections. People here have problems. I'm going to help out. Well, they're probably going to come to help me with those, but I'll point them your way. Thanks, B. What? I tried to walk away, but apparently I can't. Choose a character for this life. Okay, so I get... Okay. A uh, unique shipment, 13 days left. A unique item... Wait, huh? A unique item has been transported through this nebula until the 5th of October. If you can steal it before then, it'll also be unlocked to find in crates in this and all future galaxies. You can try as many times as you like until then. Look out for a ship with a flashing light. Okay. Um, personal mission. So they each have a personal mission, and it looks like they each have different starting equipment. Isma Clawless. Rescue my wife from the foundry. Intel cost. Progress 2%. Lifetime stats. Nothing. Um, it looks like this person starts with a short blade and a long-range swapper, which I do think from watching the original Steam video is an item that literally switches your position with someone else, which could be hilarious. And all these other people have, like, really loud-ass guns, so I want to take the person who just has... Get a mission. Practice being cool. Assassinate Carbon Fiel. Mission details. Assassinate Carbon Fiel. Aboard a small sovereign ship. Alarm response time, 126 seconds. So you have two minutes, basically. Okay.
few guards. The ship is running a skeleton crew. Few guards, not actual skeleton guards. So we don't have to worry, guys. There's actually no one dead on that ship. It's just, uh, you know, a couple of guards. Um, key card. The, uh, the key cards on this ship are carried by this type of guard. Sword, a lethal melee weapon. Bosses, guns are typically used to shoot people. I don't know what these two menus actually are talking about, or maybe what they have equipped, I guess. Except, I'm just gonna do this one. Leave when you're ready. Uh, return to pod. This is kind of interesting, because I, I, I've never played this. I know nothing about the game. Um, and so it's sort of interesting just doing this for the first time uh, in a Let's Play series. Yeah, see, when you start to get close, it zooms in in a really inconvenient way. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. And when you... Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, so that's kind of annoying. So I, I accidentally bumped into the ship. But to, but to actually dock into it, it's incredibly difficult to steer this. And you can only turn with the mouse. Come on. Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please. Oh my god. Please. Just please. Oh, please. Oh, this is actually like... Okay, this is actually infuriating. Wait, can I just... Oh, there was a circle of like... Hey, you shouldn't be in here. Trying to match speed with this fucking craft? Oh my god. Okay, I just have to honestly say, first off, this is the worst system I, I think I've ever had in a game. That whole sequence of trying to make that happen, it does not control nicely at all. Okay, but now that's- I probably- and honestly, I could be doing it totally wrong, but I think you just have accelerate and break. And controlling that with the- it, it would be so much better with mouse or keyboard. You can middle click above a ship to automatically walk to that point. Hold F to fast forward the journey. Um, okay, so short blade. Hold the button down to automatically strike enemies that come into range. Lethal. Causes people to die usually forever. Quick recovery. Swing again quickly. Short range dash. Quiet strike. Can only be heard from a meter away. That's on that. Teleporters move you instantly, but each type has unique limitations. Glitching has its price, but you don't have to be the one to pay it. Click on anyone within the radius to swap places with them. Okay. I don't know if swapping is actually going to alert him. Oh! Oh, okay, well... So, that made me jump because I thought that I was going to release the button, but it it just automatically attacks as soon as you're within range. Long blade. I will take that. Uh... I'm going to dump his body here. I did not get a key card, though. Hold the button to aim your dash, release to strike. Can't swing again until blah blah blah. So I actually like the idea of a long blade more because it allows me to dash. Oh, I have to kill that guy. Okay. So if I don't get heard... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. He's very confused. 
Uh, okay. This is all falling apart rather suddenly. I thought that it would give me the opportunity to see if I was in range of the teleporter, but it just, it just did it. Um, there's also a gun that I'm going to take. Things you can do here. Pick up carbon feel, remote control your pod, collision sensor. I don't know what that is. Crew killed two. Um, no alarms. Nothing else. Oh, no. So I... Oh, my teleporter's gone. I could use it once. Okay. Also good to know. Um, that's going to cause me a problem, because this is awkward now. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It's sort of hard to tell which direction they're facing. Okay. Easy. I took the long blade. I can pick him up. Can I toss him out the window? No, I can't really toss him out the window. Um, we did it. Everyone is dead. No one was alerted. I don't think there's anything else I can do here. Doesn't look like I can interact. Okay. So we did that. No one detected us. Now we're headed back to get another mission. Oh. What is that? Whoop. 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 Seriously, what is this? Is that like a bad area? Can I just... Okay, apparently I can't do anything in there. Uh, oh, it might be like a teleporting thing or something. Wait, hold on. That is a flashing ship. I just read that thing about flashing ships. Don't bump, don't bump. How do I? Oh, please. Oh, I did it. Okay, this just got real. This is like a limited time. Wait, what was that? What was that? Okay, okay. Uh, let's do gun on right click. So... We need to level two key card. Holy shit. I think we need to get to this. Holy mother of God. Wait, no, there's one there too. Oh no. Uh, on an errand. We, okay. Destroys the entire room if hit with lethal damage. Okay. I guess we're just going to sort of go for this for now, and then we'll see what happens. Wait, what was that? What is that? I'm picking up something that I don't know what it is. Oh, God. Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm just going to try to kill him as quickly and as silently as possible. Boom. One down. Uh, I will take the wrench, but I don't really honestly know what it's for. So I think my ideal plan is honestly to kill everyone in here without them knowing. Oh, you can really dash that far. Holy hell. Um, I need that guy to be dead when he comes back into this room. I need him not to survive. Okay, so if I dump them all way back here... I mean, so far, so good. I also have a gun and another wrench. Okay, let's pause for a second. So I have a wrench, long dash range, concussive. So it doesn't actually kill, but I have 24 bullets for a gun as well if I need it. Um, I'm really hoping people don't walk through this room. 
I'm gonna take my time because this seems like a really important mission. Because again, they were talking about this. I'm in it. I'm 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 fully invested in this game right now. I love what's going on here. So it appears as though you can just hold shift. And you can get like some sort of a semi-detailed idea of what's going on. So here's the problem. If I go kill that guy, those dudes are almost certainly going to know what just happened. And I'm not sure if... <gasps> okay, so I learned something just now. That seems to be fairly important. There's no way that I'm, I'm going to be able to kill these guys without alerting a bunch of people. Unless... I would have to sneak. No, I mean, there's no way. Um, there's just no way. I would have to get down there. The question is what happens if, I mean, can I just run for it? Can I honestly just, wait, 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 that guy's breaking off. This may be the opportunity I need. Okay, I have, I have an idea. It's not a good idea. But I have an idea. If I can get down into this room right there, I might be able to silent kill that guy. But I need them not to see me when I move down here. Okay, okay, phase one done. We've done it. Okay, okay, okay. Those guys are facing inward, and I don't think anyone can come down here. Please don't tell me you're coming. Wait, actually, if you could come down here, that would be terrific. Oh, God. Oh, are they going to see the blood stain though? Is that going to alert people? No, the blood stain's gone. Wait, the blood stain's gone. I need, I need your key. Oh, God. Oh, God. I got him. 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 They have no idea. Wait. Pick up. I can pick up the... Are they really all just going to do this? Look, I'm fine if you want to go investigate that terminal, man. Do it. It's there. It's like the the hotness. Everyone is going to that terminal right now. I don't know what that terminal does, but it's clearly very important. Uh, what else did I get? What else is here? There's another gun that I don't care about, honestly. Okay, let's wait and see if anyone else now comes into this room because I've killed people. It doesn't look like they're going to. There's two guys, three guys in that room. Uh, I think the bottom was the right choice. So in this next room is actually literally no one. So I should be able to move through this without problem. But I am going to run into a bit of a problem. Wait, no. If that guy's actually, is he going to, please tell me you're coming up here. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. Here we go, here we go. Come on, give me a straight shot, give me a straight shot. I have no idea where I can dump them. Are they both gonna... Oh, he's, he's doing the terminal thing. Okay, what do I have here? So I can just teleport. It looks like I'm nowhere near those other items, but I can still teleport them to me. Uh, another question I have is, if I'm sitting right here in this corner, is this guy going to see me when he comes around? Like, if he just walks straight past me, I'm not going to take a chance. He's he's going down. Okay, I unlocked that door. Let's stack him there. Let's pause. It's just a gun. It's nothing exciting. I need to get down there. Oh, is he moving? Yeah. I See, I could just walk in there and shoot him. But I think that would make way too much noise. I don't know what their... Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. I don't know what their view distance is. So I'm not sure... Let me stand back. Because I can do a dash. And I don't necessarily need to stand right there by the corner. Because uh, when you hold shift, you can see like that pulsing rainbow color. I'm not sure if like that's... Oh, yeah, see, when I was looking at him in slow-mo there, he had a little ring around him. 
and that may be like the distance that he can see things at. Wait, this is just full of emergency shields. Oh wait, it just had one emergency shield. Oh no, that's not, oh. Okay, so let's do, let's do this. Can I drop this? No, 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 no. I need that. Used 11 times. I wonder if I can actually break it. Stash later? Oh, is, is that the drop? Okay. Okay. We're still good. We're still good. So if I, if I hold shift, can I see like people's... No. I think you can only see their view distance when they're actually really close to you. So if we're here... I mean, I could just go for that guy right now, the guy in the chair. Uh, okay. Neutralize all crew if you want to capture the ship. Oh wait, his body. Wait, his body. His body's still there. Didn't pick it up. Please. Please. Oh god. Oh. It was... I, I kept hitting E, and I guess it was... Uh, it was giving me the option... Does it highlight that one? Oh, okay, it tells you where it is. It was giving me the option to try and pilot the ship. And I that it's the same button to, um, that guy needs to die. It's the same button to try and pick up a guard. And so it kept doing that. Uh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Don't mess this up now. Okay, okay, we got him, we got him, we got him, we're fine. So it seems, and I'm, totally unsure of this but it seems like you can only see their view distance when you actually get close okay picked up standard pistol rounds i'm just i'm i'm probably being way more careful than i need to because this is a special mission and i've never played this game before so i just i'm trying not i'm trying just to make sure that everything goes I think the best time to do this is right when he walks by. Yes. We're just gonna, we're coming up on the end of this video, but if I could just, if I could nail this the first time is, you know, first try, uh, that would be pretty terrific. Uh, open cargo crate. The everything gun. We did it. We've done it. Uh, the everything gun teleports every item in range to itself and then fires it out with violent force. Can you make a gun that fires everything? That doesn't even make sense, but yes. Okay, we did it. We got it. I'm pretty sure I still have to make it off the ship safely. But at this point, I think I can just take over the ship because I don't think those, uh, those guards range. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. That's bad. Okay, we've done bad things. He's confused. We didn't set off an alarm yet? I don't think we set off an alarm yet. I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna end him. He should be the last guard on the ship. <gasps> I... Almost ruined that so hard. Holy crap, I almost ruined that. So what had happened... Um, so I've learned a couple things. First off, they can definitely see outside of that little ring. I don't know what that ring is. Maybe that's just their combat zone. He definitely saw me killing him up here. Um, secondly, guns do not auto-lock on like the, the sword that I've been using does. Because this sword is rad. Um, but now I guess we'll just set course for the nearest friendly station and I'm taking their ship, I guess? That seems rude. We're just gonna take it. I, we'll see what happens. I unlocked the achievement. I, I don't think you can see it, but I, I got the achievement for the sword. 
Uh, mission complete. Done. Easy. Uh, so that was the one that I took. That was the original objective I took, was assassinate that guy. But obviously I got sidetracked in between. Um... Wait, so what happens with the ship I just took? Do I... The ship is just gone. How do I... Okay. Do I have to, like, leave first and then come back? Please? How do I... Do I have to, like, leave the little circle first? I'm just trying to redock. There we go. Okay, you had to leave the circle. Uh, okay. Um, miscellaneous shop. I, say, I saw that it said it had something special. Overpriced mystery crate. 54. I don't even have nearly enough for that. Um, wait, I can sell stuff. So I can sell that. Wrench sells for zero. Gun sells for zero. For zero. For zero. Short blade sells for three. I mean, I'll sell you a gun for... No. I'll send to my stash. You can have a wrench because I imagine everyone is going to have those. And that's going to my stash. Alright, I think I did it. We did a successful mission. Uh, we got the achievement and the special gun that they had running for that contest right away. Um, and that's it. Like, we didn't die, thankfully, because I was, I was pretty... I was fairly worried, actually, that we were going to die immediately. Um, just because I'm awful at stealth games, but that, that worked out really well. Um, so anyway, this was episode one. Like, we're done. That was already 30 minutes. This game is a lot of fun. I have a lot of hope for these next couple missions and things, and it seems very open-ended. Um, so we're going to end there. Uh, we'll be doing the, our new series on this. So if you guys like it, definitely comment, smash that like button, whatever you guys do out there on the interwebs. Uh, and this was Sonic Hat is Garbage at, uh, in this case, Heat Signature. But obviously, like, I, I sort of betrayed my name there because I actually completed it, like, flawlessly. So I'll have to be garbage in the next time, right? So I'll see you guys later.